When competing in a bodybuilding competition, nobody's interested in your bench press capacity. Yes, muscle is important, but so is what you can accomplish with it. With that, you can guess what we're going to discuss in today's video. Do you guys know what's behind bodybuilding? Is it just the steroids that can help them, but is it really so good to depend on so much steroids? Thank you for stopping by the Bodybuilding Olympians. In today's video, we are going to see the top bodybuilders who are addicted to steroids for their careers. Let's check out the top 5 bodybuilders who are addicted to steroids. Starting at number 5, Ronnie Coleman. The greatest bodybuilder of all time, Ronnie Coleman, acknowledged to Joe Rogan that he started using pharmaceutical steroids when he was 30 years old. At the age of 24, Coleman began bodybuilding, and for the first six years of his career, he only used natural ingredients. When Coleman was 30 years old, Flex Wheeler, one of his rivals, gave him his first PED. He insisted that consuming performance-enhancing drugs allowed him to become as shredded and in top physical condition as he had never been before, which allowed him to gain weight, get into his dream shape, advance in the ranks, and eventually win championships. When Ronnie recognized he needed to acquire the competitive advantage most bodybuilders seek, he made the decision to use drugs. It was acceptable for Coleman's rivals to consume performance-enhancing drugs because androgenic anaboloid steroids, or AAS, were a prohibited substance at the time. He also rose through the ranks and won yearly bodybuilding competitions after he began using PEDs. Although many bodybuilders advocate for supplements like BCAAs and creatine, Coleman thought he needed more to achieve his Mr. Olympia physique. Coleman acknowledges that using steroids contributed to his professional advancement, but he also gives credit to strong genetics, healthy food, regular exercise, and the use of herbal supplements. Number 4. Rich Piana Bodybuilder Rich Piana was a tremendously accomplished athlete, and the news of his passing shocked the fitness community. The entire extent of the harm was only revealed after his passing, despite widespread suspicions that he at least occasionally used anabolic steroids. In a 2016 video, Rich acknowledged using steroids and talked about using them for the past 27 years. Human vascularity is affected by anabolic steroid use, as has been demonstrated. This is not the same as having your veins pop during a workout when you reach your maximum pump. Because they can greatly hasten the process of bulking up, steroids and other medication are mostly used by athletes for this purpose. Photos from Rich's adolescent years to the time where he first won his major competitions show that he had been bulking up more quickly than usual. At the age of 19, Piana took first place in the Mr. Teen California contest. Later, he entered professional competitions and ultimately won Mr. California, all the while later confessing to using anabolic steroids. No matter how much you train, your ability to bulk up will be limited if you don't follow a good high diet in carbs and protein. However, using a bulking combination of legal steroids is another technique to quicken the bulking process. At the age of 18, Piana experimented with the Test Endica Cycle, a popular cycle for bulking that combines testosterone and the anabolic steroid Decadurabolin. When he went from carrying 185 pounds to bouncing up to over 200 after 8 weeks and participated in a show, he claimed first place and the overall victory. Rich's competitive events, while he was younger, may have included testing, but this is unknown. Yes, Rich has shown early signs of using steroids as well as growth hormones when he was younger. Follow Rich's advice and exercise naturally to get a physique similar to his in order to prevent any potential negative effects associated with these harmful chemicals. It's absolutely possible to achieve this with the proper diet and exercise regimen. Now we've seen a few bodybuilders who are addicted to steroids because they are excelling in their careers. From their perspective, it was for a cause that they started consuming steroids, but is this sustainable over time? What is your opinion about this? Comment down your thoughts below. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing content before watching the rest of the video. Number 3. Chris Bumstead There are some obvious symptoms of steroid use in Chris Bumstead. But without checking a bodybuilder's blood sample for performance-enhancing drugs, it's impossible to say with certainty whether or not they take steroids. Steroid use is evident, in particular, in the spectacularly enormous, rounded, 3D-like shoulders with flawlessly developed trapezius and deltoid muscles. Chris Bumstead has solidified his position as the top classic physique competitor. Bumstead would reign supreme in 2020 after ousting Breon Ainsley in 2019. Not only would Bumstead win again in 2020, but he would also compete in every division with one of his best physiques. The Canadian also won the classic physique Olympia again, making him a two-time champion. Andronic steroids frequently alter hormone levels, causing the sweat gland to secrete more oil. Acne or blemishes are frequently the result of the oily skin having pores that become clogged with debris or germs. The only method that can reliably reveal whether somebody uses steroids is a drug test. 
This young Canadian bodybuilder debuted in a competition in 2014 at the age of 19, and at the age of just 21 in 2016, after winning the IFBB North America Bodybuilding Championships, he received his IFBB Pro card. Number 2. Arnold Schwarzenegger the annual Arnold Classic Bodybuilding Competition recognizes Schwarzenegger's legacy as one of the most influential figures in bodybuilding history. He has maintained his prominence in bodybuilding long after retiring since he owns clubs and fitness magazines. He has managed a lot of contests and prize presentations. Despite admitting to using steroids himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger vowed never to support their use anyway. Bodybuilding is a reputable sport and he didn't want to send the wrong message. He urged contemporary bodybuilders to put in a lot of effort to develop their desired physiques by lifting heavy, eating well, taking supplements, and abstaining from illegal drugs since, as he's explained, they are creating their bodies, not destroying them. Arnold shares his strategies for dedication, perseverance, and training from his unique experiences as seven-time Mr. Olympia winner and well-known global movie star. He also shows you how to control your appearance so that you can realize your maximum potential. Arnold Schwarzenegger started using steroids for the first time at the age of 20 before becoming a well-known bodybuilder. Old gym buddies of Schwarzenegger alleged that he regularly injected himself with estrogen drugs after arriving in America in 1968 and taking Diana Ball in Germany at the age of 17. Violent and angry behavior is one of the most obvious symptoms that someone is using steroids. Anabolic androgenic steroid users were more likely than non-users to exhibit increased aggression, according to a 1996 study. People currently believe that the world of bodybuilding is one of steroid-dependent, drug-induced, ridiculously muscle-bound goliaths with a narcissistic swagger wearing tiny little trunks. However, today's bodybuilders simply do not inspire ordinary people to emulate them. Arnold wasn't fantastic for bodybuilding because of his incredible physique or even because he essentially held all of the major titles in the sport by himself for a whole decade. Instead, he excelled in bodybuilding because he made it popular. Before Arnold, bodybuilding was basically a freak show that wasn't embraced by the general public and was utterly misunderstood. Bodybuilding was restricted to private garages and gloomy basements. And at number 1, Jay Cutler. Many of the clients believe Jay Cutler is using steroids as a result of his tremendous muscularity and weight gain throughout his bodybuilding career. Many of my clients believe Jay Cutler is using steroids as a result of his tremendous muscle tone and excess weight throughout his bodybuilding career. Jay Cutler may be using steroids as a result of the substantial weight gain he has experienced throughout his bodybuilding career and the well-defined, highly muscular physique he has sculpted. Who could work for his family's construction company showed him to be in terrific physical shape by the time he was 15. People with noticeable bone structures have been shown to have higher T levels, respond better to training, and tend to build muscle. Jay Cutler's body exhibits possible PED use indicators such as noticeable veins, quick muscle growth, and extremely low body fat percentage. Jay stated in an interview posted on one of his social media pages that he consumed about 6,000 calories per day of protein and carbohydrate-rich foods to remodel his body. In addition, he used to shape up for competitions like the Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia, in which he has four times finished second to the great Ronnie Coleman, thanks to his high-volume training regimen and six to eight hours of sleep each night. In fact, a balanced lifestyle, hard exercise, and a good diet all aid in muscular growth and recovery. With that, we come to a close. Today's video was very interesting as well. We had a lot to learn about steroids and their usage by bodybuilders. Comment down your thoughts on the same, whether you support in consuming steroids or are against them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash the bell icon to receive notifications, and improve your bodybuilding skills. Watch some other videos from our channel too, and we'll see you in the next one.